Hi folks, uh, today we want to show you a slight modification we did to our hardtop and the rooftop tent. Uh, the hardtop is a building hardtop from southern Germany, which is strong enough to hold the James Baru Space XXL plus two awnings, side awnings. However, even though the hardtop, uh, the, the rooftop tent is really quite large in space, we wanted to have some kind of heating in the winter which we use uh, for, for which we use a diesel heater and, and this of course we cannot put into inside the tent so we thought of a construction that we can have some kind of extension at the back um, and this is actually strong enough to hold maybe 40 50 kilogram and i'll show you how that works um, Hold on. As you can see here, I used uh, uh, an aluminium pole squared with uh, around 35 millimeters. And inside that we have a Rexrod profile, an X profile, that we can use to extend the whole construction. I put some markings on it, markings on it, so I know how large I can actually pull it, just with normal adding or some other pen. And we can extend it on the other side as well. And the reason why it's so important not to pull it out is we have a, a screw there that has its head on the inside, inside the profile. It's an 8mm profile, so we can just put in the screw and it has gives some, some more strength to the construction. So when we have it like that, we can actually use our aluminium plate to... Uh, give us some more room and good thing is it just fits between the two poles and um, it's about a meter 25 times a meter and it really just fits on it to um, secured. We use the same screws that I used uh, to fix the, the aluminium rail and uh, this is it. And it really does not matter that much which hole you use as long as it's fixed. It's far away from perfect, but it works. And because of the dynamic structure of aluminium, you always have some kind of, well, so to say it's, it's, it is elastic, but it definitely holds the weight. And um, you can put a, a diesel heater on it as we do it or anything else and for uh, scratch protection I used these plastic rails which came off because I haven't glued them but um, I will do this eventually in the future well maybe not I'll just repeat it every time it falls off I don't know yet anything anyway this is it and um, there's a side benefit to it using that construction we can use a tarp mount it to the hard top and have some more space where we can use the back of the car without getting wet. So let's try this. Uh, here's our top. That's uh, three times or three and a half times four meter top. And it has already guy lines attached. The back doesn't come off, so quite easy to mount. 
And maybe something I show you beforehand, hold on. The top of the rooftop of the hardtop is made by airline rails. And we put something in there, as you can see, so we can fix the top with a carabiner. Okay, let's give it a try. Here's about the half, so I start with that one. Oh, hold on. And with the, the rest we can actually attach to these, to these lines and fix it like that. And then you have some kind of waterproof, not really waterproof, but most of the time rainproof thing. Maybe do some cooking or do something we don't want to get wet, at least not as wet without, as without the top. So this is it, and um, yeah, maybe this comes in useful for you. It is useful for us, and um, thanks till next time.